All right, guys, so this was a little bit of an afterthought, so I'm actually going to stick this at the beginning of the video, just so you know. Um, in order to do this repair, I actually did disconnect the battery, and the only reason I did that was because you will be working near the alternator in this area, because that's a thermostat housing. So just so you guys know, for safety reasons, it's probably better to just disconnect your battery. So I would definitely do that. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm going to let you carry on with the video now. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another video on my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a thermostat on a Volkswagen Bug. Now, I don't know what year this is, but it's a TDI, so it's got the turbo diesel in it. Um, I've never done one of these before. I've already kind of started taking it apart. So um, I did take the engine cover off the top. It just pops into these little grommets here. Um, so it's not overly difficult. So one of the things I didn't do is I don't like to, well, I don't like to go and research how to do something beforehand, which I probably should. But especially if I'm making a video, because that way it's more authentic. Um, so I did start kind of removing stuff already, removed the panels from the bottom, jacked up the car, anticipating having to um, uh, drain it. So I already did start doing that. So one of the things I did was I took the uh, passenger side fan off and then come to realize you really don't need to take that off. So all it really is is the thermostat is located in this plastic housing right here. And it looks like there's just two bolts, one on top right there. And then there's also one in the bottom. So it's not going to be overly difficult to do. Uh, so this one is going to be kind of a quick video. But I did start doing that. And again, you don't have to take that fan off. Uh, I thought I had to just because I thought, okay, well, I need to create more space to get to it because I couldn't, you know, see it. So the engine is really crammed in here. But, oh yeah. And this thing, this bug, has a lot of character on it. So definitely want to make sure we get this thing fixed and, and up and running. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's continue on with the video. I'm just going to probably start draining it right now. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll continue on with the thermostat itself all right guys it's a little hot out today so essentially what I did is I took out the lower radiator hose it's located on the driver's side right over there I drained my system so then the next part was I loosened up the hose that came up to the housing for the thermostat um, right over here so I, brought, I took off the hose brought it out of the way and there's two 10 millimeter bolts so there's a top one right there and there's one on the very bottom so to get to the one on the bottom, essentially what I did is I ended up using, it's a quarter inch ratchet with an extension. I have a swivel on there and I wanted to make sure to use a magnetic socket because due to the placement of that bolt, the last thing I want to do is drop it. So it actually is really tight uh, to kind of get it in there, but I was able to get it in there without removing the alternator or anything. So that does save on steps. Um, so essentially what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove the housing and then put the new one, the new thermostat in there and I'll kind of show you how, what, you know, what I'm looking for, just, you know, cleaning it up a little bit and whatnot, but, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so as you can see, my thermostat is actually exposed. Oop, I don't want to lose that. So this is the actual housing that I took off right here. So it was actually positioned in there like that. So you have a top 10 millimeter, a bottom 10 millimeter bolt, and then it just comes right out. So given that it has a little bit of an angle, it does make it a little tough, but it's not too crazy and then essentially what you do is remove the thermostat and I anticipate there's gonna be some fluid leakage here I do have my drain pan underneath which I should probably double check and make sure it's in the right spot but anyways yeah that's the thermostat well it's just ready to come out so there you go I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna take it out and yep we need to readjust that Well, I tried my best. Try to keep it clean, but oh well, that's how it goes. Let's go ahead and let's uh, double check this thing and then we'll just install the new one. All right, so I put my new thermostat in there. I got my new O-ring seal in there as well. So one of the things I just want to clarify is that um, when you're putting in a new O-ring seal, even if it's brand new and in the package, what you want to do is you still want to double check it and inspect it. I've gone ahead and I've cleaned the surface of my um, thermostat housing. I've also uh, cleaned the surface on my engine block. So what I did is I just took a little scotch bag pad and just lightly went around it and just to kind of clean it up and then, you know, obviously take off some of the leftover coolant. But that's essentially it. So now I'm just going to put it all back together, fill it up, test drive it, and make sure, you know, it doesn't leak or anything. And then after that, we should be good to go and then should do it. So let's go ahead, let's continue on here and then um, hopefully it, there's no leaks. All right, guys, so I put my thermostat housing back, back on. That's bolted up. I put my radiator hose back on, clamped her up. So I just kind of gave everything a double check. Definitely wanted to double check those bolts, make sure they're nice and tight, and they are. Um, dude, so that little bottom one is a, that is a heck of a uh, position to be working with. But again, I ended up using quarter inch ratchet extension, 10 millimeter on a swivel with a magnetic tip. It'll save you guys a lot of time and a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, so that's it. Kind of got it back together i'm gonna fill it up test drive it and then other than that this video is pretty much done i'm not sure if you need to see the rest of it but 
uh yeah so I'd like to thank you all for watching hopefully this video was helpful for some of you that wanted to you know attempt this and then also you know i would say as far as difficulty it is something that an amateur could do it does require quite a bit of patience uh but you know just be patient with it that's the only thing i mean it's gonna be frustrating a little bit I, even i got frustrated but oh well that's how it goes right so just uh catch you guys in another video guys just remember whatever it is you do go out there have fun enjoy life peace